Then you mentioned uh, high school a little bit. You know, what was high school like for you? And you know what I'm saying? You mentioned you had to just try to avoid the ops. High school, well, my freshman, sophomore year, that shit was, uh, I went to Harlem, and not many, it, it wasn't no ops out there at all. But, like, it was uh, just 9-5 mob, the, the gang from out there. So it was straight. And for us, it was like we had a lot of people really just riding because they knew he's from O Block. Sosa was hot. Sosa was bumping. And then my junior year, I say was really was the turn. I say where, like, we're really sophomore year because then I dropped out because, like, it wasn't no getting on, but it was too cracking. It was cracking where you really couldn't get on the bus. Motherfuckers turn the buses off. They turn that bus off, boy. They finna, it get ugly. And people don't even know that you could turn a bus off. They like, you could turn off a, a, a public transportation. And it's like, yeah, all they gotta do is pop the up thing and then hit the switch. That gonna whoop. Whole bus shut off and it get dark on the hell. Like, <laughs> for real. But you had to watch out for a lot of that, man. Watch out for people who might have no noticed some faces. Cause that's what it like, that's why I kept my face out of shit. Don't, I ain't in no videos. I ain't in no pictures because I gotta go to, I might have to travel and I might have to do this. I don't want them people to know my fucking name. I don't want them to know my face. I don't want them to see me. Oh, he, he from O Block. Like, so yeah, really you had to make sure you was really ducking your taco. If you was by yourself. Or ducking your head, man. I'm talking about ducking your taco. Y'all got me talking so Chicago, bro. Like, <laughs> like what's ducking your taco like? <laughs> But yeah, man, that's what it was, man. It was uh, it was wow. Shit, you can't go to the store now. Nah, shit, that's how Shirai got killed. Just over there, he stuck his hand over the gate. Boom. Shit, crazy. You mentioned, you know, Chief Keith blowing up and it kind of bringing drama to you at school and everything. You know, what was it like, like when Chief Keith would come back to the block and and kind of visit and everything after he kind of had everything already cracking. That shit was weird. He could never come. It, it ain't never been a time since, like, he got on. I think Whitey Funeral was the only time, and and maybe I'm remembering that wrong, but I think it was the only time they didn't smack it. It was, uh, the po police was everywhere. But every time Sosa came back to, oh, to the block, you would have thought that we just went over there, shot, ran back, that helicopters. Motherfucking SWAT cars. It was like they did the uh, the old block bay car all over again. Cause when they did the bay car, man, there was so many motherfucking um, police cars that came up over there, man. That shit was crazy. But um, that uh, that's what I say, bro. Like it, it was always hella police around, bro. He could never be around and enjoy the time. We could never really enjoy his time on the block because every time he came around, the police came around every single time. How'd they find out that he was there all the time? Somebody was was calling him all the time? Man, once a nigga get famous, he go back on his block, bro. Everybody pulling out the cameras. Everybody want to take a picture. Everybody looking out the windows. Hey, Sosa. Everybody, like, when that nigga came around, you would have thought that it was um, Christmas time and Santa letting everybody see him. He giving out gifts. While motherfuckers awoke, not sleep. That's how it was. <laughs> Everybody, it was like a fucking parade. Like Barack Obama coming to the block. Like he famous. He on TV. He done been with all these people we used to watch on TV. And now nah, that's Sosa. So it used to be crazy. So maybe through that, motherfuckers posting shit and through stuff like that. Now, I mean, I think everybody knows, you know, Chief Keith ain't been there in years, man. Do you think Chief Keith misses O Block? Hell no. He probably missed the old times and remembering it, reminisce on the memories and all the shit that that he done um that we used to go through and the shit like that. But to miss what? Ain't nothing to miss over that shit. The main goal was to get the fuck up. I need to stop cur cursing some of the main goal was to cut from up out of that. So no. And when I talked to when I talked on the phone with him, no, he don't miss them. He don't miss the guys. He don't miss no no folks. Good where he at? He ain't he ain't he living. He ain't worried about none of that. Ain't nothing to miss, man, especially when you got unloyal ass motherfuckers from that place and they done, what's to miss? There ain't nothing to miss, shit. Niggas look back and be like, man, I missed the old or what it used to be. And the block don't even look the same no more. That block, boy, that shit don't even look the same. All the trees got cut down, all the diamonds, they removed all of the old block looks completely the same. It used to be diamonds in there with concrete and then it would be a, a gate that is made in the form of a diamond, but it was a gate. 
and like we used to be playing football, blind man, bluff, uh, killer man, all type of shit, man. So yeah, niggas probably missed the old times, but hell no, nah, ain't nothing to go back for. And he could go back if he wanted to. He could go back if he wanted yeah. to. Who gonna do it? Maybe a young dummy might try to, like anybody could, can do something to somebody. Anybody can have something, something done to him. But Sosa is well loved. The internet and all that shit, it might be niggas like, certain niggas like Top who we know hate on him and, and, and he can trick the minds of everybody else. But these niggas really, really love Sosa. They might talk shit when Top right there, but when Top ain't there and if it's Sosa there, niggas gonna fuck with Sosa more than they fuck with Top because niggas like, it's a more genuine person. Uh, you feel me? Shit like that, boy. Everybody loves Sosa. Ain't no, he made the song for a reason. That's, it just happened like the authentic nigga, niggas love Sosa, period. That's the facts. Everybody love Keith. Oh, God. Yeah, I was interviewing uh, Take a Pone not too long ago, and he was telling me that, like, you know, he was, you know, well loved, not just in O Block, but like Damn all man. the other hoods, 600, 300, and yeah. Front Street. And, like, he was, like, one of the only ones that, like, Everybody, everybody really fuck, fuck with. with Sosa from everywhere. That's why he can say he from Lamar. He can say he from O Block. He can say he from Front Street. He can say he from THF. You feel me? Cause they really fucked with him like that. And it wasn't no Sosa was everywhere, bro. Sosa and T Roy, them niggas was everywhere. Him and his best friend before T Roy and Bond them became best friend, and then they evil twin on some evil twin shit. But yeah, they man T Roy. I mean Sosa was all yeah well well respected and well connected everywhere. I think it would be huge if he ever went back and like shot a music video there. It would be like the biggest thing in hip hop for a long time. Yeah, it would, but he ain't. Man, Sosa so enclosed off. He ain't. He ain't fucking. He done, he done seen something maybe the, uh, uh, around the ways or uh, what the guys did, what when they did it, doing that, going to his crib and doing all that, bro. But. In all reality, dude, he he ain't fucking with that shit. He already good and said if he go back to do something at Old Block, it ain't to help him, it's to help them. And he good, so he ain't helping nobody. He for like, nigga, any chances of me trying to help y'all, y'all ruin that. 